All right, so um, into posture that has a straight back. Okay. So as you come back to awareness of your body and awareness of your posture, just check in and see if you've gathered any tension or tightness throughout the day that you're able to release. So just briefly scan from the crown of your head down to the tip of your toes, checking for any areas that have collected tension, inviting them to relax. And thinking to yourself through this practice, may I come to a deeper understanding of what I take refuge in, what I can be a refuge for. And what specifically it is that I can keep coming home to and nourishing within myself and others to be of greatest benefit to all. and some moments with the breath. And very gently, very spaciously, reconnecting with the four immeasurables. And first, just thinking about love. His Holiness would say, love has the aspect of friendliness. And its function is to promote friendliness. That makes malice and annoyance disappear. Its cause is seeing others as endearing, appealing. When it succeeds, it eliminates malice, hatred, anger, even irritability and annoyance. When it fails, it degenerates into selfish, affectionate desire.
So taking those words, try and bring to the forefront of your mind the essence of what love is. Just love, find and identify it. Sit with the essence of it. And if the sense of it fades, you can bring in a memory of being on the giving end of love or the receiving end of love. And think very strongly, may all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. Or frame immeasurable love into words that resonate for you.
and then switch to compassion, identifying it as the aspect of allaying suffering. It functions to find others suffering unbearable and manifests as non-cruelty and non-violence. Its causes seeing those overwhelmed by suffering as needing help. When it succeeds, it reduces cruelty. When it fails, it produces personal distress. So using those words to get yourself back into the framework of compassion, clarifying and identifying it for yourself. Meeting compassion with your mind. thinking about the way compassion can see suffering clearly and bravely and directly, while at the same time seeing the potential for freedom, seeing the impermanence of pain, seeing the power of people's potential thinking of times that you've had that compassionate attitude towards others or when they've had it towards you. and think very strongly. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Framing that into words that resonate for you. Measurable compassion.
and shifting to joy. Empathic joy delights at the happiness and good fortune of others. It brings joy and functions to oppose envy. It causes jealousy and boredom to subside. It causes seeing other beings success. When it succeeds, it reduces jealousy and boredom. When it fails, it produces giddy excitement. Using those words to conjure up your understanding of empathic joy. Connecting with the essence of those times when you've been genuinely happy for someone else's happiness, success, success in their relationships, success in achieving health, whether superficial or deep, those times when you've had genuine joy in response to seeing others have joy. While not identifying with it or taking credit for it. A pure rejoicing. or when others have had that for you. And think, may all sentient beings never be separated from the happiness that is free from suffering. and shift to equanimity. Equanimity promotes balance towards sentient beings and functions to see equality in sentient beings. It subdues anger and attachment. Its cause is seeing that each being is the owner of their karma their conditioning, their history, their socialization. We're all a product of causes and conditions.
When it succeeds, equanimity reduces anger and attachment. When it fails, it produces indifference and apathy. So using those words to wake up your connection with equanimity, reconnecting with it. thinking of that calm contentment that comes when your mind is free from push and pull. Connecting with the relief you feel when you're with someone who's equanimous, that you won't be judged or criticized harshly, that there won't be preferential treatment, that behaviors are seen within their context. And think, may all sentient beings never be separated from equanimity. May they be free from attachment, aversion, and indifference. May they abide in equanimity. Framing it in your own way, if you like. And because we know all sentient beings want happiness and don't want suffering, imagine sending them healing blue light. Healing blue light that starts from yourself, that fills yourself up first and radiates out. And if you feel comfortable, you can add the support of a sense of refuge as blue light above the crown of your head. And if it works for you, you can think that blue light takes the shape of Medicine Buddha or stays simply blue.
healing, radiating. And then add the mantra to the visualization of healing blue light. Tayatai holam beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Nadza samu gate soha Tayatai holam beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Nadza samu gate soha Taya ta hom beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta hom beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta Om beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta Om beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta Om beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta Om beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta hom beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze he beckonze Radza samugate soha Taya ta hom beckonze beckonze Maha beckonze he beckonze Radza samugate soha and continue the mantra silently under your breath, together with the visualization. Taya ta om beckonze beckonze maha beckonze beckonze raja samugate soha. Healing blue light to those specific people in your life who you know need extra support. And blue light to everyone in your life, friends, enemies, everything in between. All those you have a strong enough karmic connection with to have in your life now. Healing blue light to them. And then a flood of blue light all over the earth, blanketing it to all sentient beings, 
human and non-human. And keep the sense of healing blue light continuously radiating, but gently release the visualization. And come back to your body. Grounded and centered in the space. and dedicate by thinking, may all of this energy go towards the development of my fullest potential in order to help all living beings reach that enlightened state. All of which is empty of inherent existence because it dependently arises. Okay, thanks everyone.